What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Rage and Ronin Review. I got a review for you. Last weekend, I saw Wind River. It is a mystery thriller from writer-director Taylor Sheridan. Now, if that name sounds familiar, it is because he was the writer for two really great films that were nominated for many awards, and those two films are Sicario and Hell or High Water. Both films are really, really great, and you should definitely check them out if you haven't already. I was definitely looking forward to Wind River, Especially because not only he's the writer of the film, but he's also the director of this film. It's a mystery thriller. Essentially, it's a murder mystery. And it stars Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. So you have uh, Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch in this movie. <laughs> Anyways, so Jeremy Renner's character is a um, wildlife and fish... You know what? I, I read it somewhere, but I forgot what it what the exact title is. But anyways, he's a sniper that um, uh, protects livestock from um, animals like uh, coyotes and wolves from eating them. And then you have um, uh, Elizabeth Olsen's character, which is an FBI agent who came from Las Vegas to the to investigate a murder that took place in the Wind River Indian Reservation in the state of Wyoming. Now this film takes place in the dead of winter. So blizzard, snow, the elements are definitely against them and they're trying to solve a murder while there's just these snowstorms and it definitely plays an antagonistic element in this film. The climate, the hostile climate kind of plays a uh, a character in this movie because um, solving a, a murder mystery isn't as simple as just solving a murder mystery, especially when you're in this kind of climate. So I really like the fact that it took place during this um, this hostile environment. Anyways, uh, not only does it take place in a hostile environment, but it also takes place in an Indian reservation. And what's interesting about that is that in the small town of Wind River, um, they... Uh, things are different. It's not like investigating a murder that took place in uh, Las Vegas, for example, where she's from. So she's a rookie cop who is um, in, in investigating this murder, and things are just really, really different. She does things by the books, but uh, they, she learns that things are done differently over here. But not only that, uh, she's partnered up, well, not partnered up, but teamed up with... Um, with uh, 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 Jeremy Renner's character, who's really, really resourceful. I like that not only is he a sniper um, that protects livestock, but he's also, um, like, he's a hunter tracker. He understands how to track um, uh, things in, in, in his uh, environment, in the snow, and he's just really good at his job. He's very, very resourceful, and that's what I really like about his character. And not only that, they both put in great performances. Ter Taylor Sheridan really got great performances out of them. As a matter of fact, I think that this could be, in my opinion, I think this is Jeremy Renner's best uh, role in his career. And, you know, I saw him in Hurt Locker. I really liked him in that. Of course, I've seen him play Hawkeye many times. Uh, but this is something that's uh, similar but different. And I like that this was more of a... Um, uh, um, it was a more calm role for him, but it was also an emotional role, and he definitely puts uh, puts in his acting chops in there. So really, really great performance, and I also really like his character. It's a really well written character, as well as um, Elizabeth Olsen's character is uh, very well written as well. Now this is a murder mystery, so it's definitely going to be very engaging because right from the beginning of this movie, you know that it's a murder mystery, and uh, you know that they're trying to solve the murder. So the story develops really, really well. And it's very, very engaging from beginning to end. And it develops and it keeps on building up to the uh, the grand finale, which I thought was really, really satisfying. I really like this movie. I think it's a great film, but it's also a, a film that's not for the faint of heart. Because it is a, um, it, it's a brutal film. It definitely has a very, um, it's not action packed. It's not an action film, but it's got an an intense level of violence to it and it it definitely is a, a film where um you know it really explores the dark uh, uh the dark natures of 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 people like uh, you know i don't even want to call them humans but it, it like the inhumane aspect of of people when they're in these types of environments where they're in a small town and there's nothing going on there there's not a lot of uh, activity going on they live these mundane lives and then eventually they 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 do things which we f we find that could be very very inhumane and that's the dark part about this film it's it's quite uh it's intense it, it can make you sick 
um, and it's definitely quite uh, quite brutal. And when I was watching some of those scenes, I was just like thinking to myself, like this is this is this is really really terrible. This is this is an ugly part of of people's lives that uh, that uh, we we keep on hearing about, but we don't really see. And anyways, so um, the movie just really built up to this really really um, grand finale, which I thought was a uh, was um, it, it just was a very made for a very very uh, um, satisfying ending. Uh, anyways, that's all I really got to say about this film. Like, it's a murder mystery, so I can't really say too much without giving too much away. So I'll just leave it at the fact that this is a great film. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. If you're looking for a film with substance, that has a lot of depth to it, um, that has great acting and really, really uh, well-written characters and dialogue, this is a really well-directed film. Uh, you should definitely check this out. It's obviously very, very different from your typical Hollywood blockbuster. This is not a, this is not a Hollywood blockbuster film the summer movie season is over and i'm glad that we're treated to some films that are uh, like smaller budget more character driven more story driven and um really it's all acting and just a, a about a, a well-directed story so um that's what wind river is and i i right now currently have this film at my top 10 films of 2017 anyways that's all i gotta say in this review hope you guys enjoyed it i highly recommend this film if you can check it out in your city and as always if you enjoyed uh this review hit the like button subscribe to youtube channel like me on facebook the rage nation also follow me on twitter rage nation my name is alex thanks for watching i'll see you next time peace stylized gunplay it's really nothing new and the minions just come out of nowhere and no matter what um <clears throat> the gunslinger shooting them all 